Squawkabilly, more like saw you will it. It's not really gonna work for this, is it? Because there's four of them and they've all got the same name, so. Oh, let's just go straight to the intro. Hey guys, Ace Trent Liam here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to another episode of Form Fight. Form Fight is a series where we take a look at a Pokemon with more than one form or a branched evolution or counterpart Pokemon. We have a look at the differences between the Pokemon in question and try and work out which one is the best. And so we can see these Pokemon in action on the battlefield. We also have a metronome battle between them just for a little bit of fun. But with all that out of the way, let's have a look at today's challenges. Today on Form Fight, we're going to be looking at the four forms of Squawkabilly, which are Green Plumage, Blue Plumage, Yellow Plumage, and White Plumage. All four forms of Squawkabilly can be found in various locations across Paldea's east, west, and southern provinces, with green being the most common, followed by blue, then yellow, and with white being the rarest. But what makes these Squawkabilly forms so different? Let's take a look. According to the Pokedex, all four forms of Squawkabilly share the same height and weight, standing at 0.6 meters tall and weighing 2.5 kilograms. The Pokedex entry for Green Plumage Squawkabilly says these Pokemon prefer to live in cities. They form flocks based on the colour of their feathers and they fight over territory. Green feathered flocks hold the most sway. When they're out searching for food in the mornings and evenings, it gets very noisy. For Blue Plumage form, it reads the largest of their flocks can contain more than 50 individuals. They fly around towns and forests searching for food and making a racket. Blue feathered Squawkabilly view their green feathered counterparts as rivals since the latter make up the largest, most powerful groups. As for yellow plumage, the Pokedex says these Squawkabilly are hot-headed and their fighting style is vicious. They'll leap within reach of their foes to engage in close combat. The yellow Squawkabilly are especially fierce. They've been known to drive other bird Pokemon out of town. And finally, the Pokedex info for white plumage Squawkabilly reads this Pokemon dislikes being alone. It has a strong sense of community and survives by cooperating with allies. Though these Squawkabilly are the fewest in numbers, they have no trouble living in town since they blend in with the white buildings. Appearance-wise, Squawkabilly pretty much just look like small parrots, with coloured feathers relative to the name of their form, with white feathers on their faces, bellies, and wingtips. They all have black pompadour hairstyles as well, which is apparently all it takes to make a Pokemon look like a Pokemon and not just a regular bird. Sure, whatever you say, Pokemon. In their shiny forms, their black pompadour hairstyles turn pink. And yes, that's literally it. Now let's have a look at the typing, weaknesses, and resistances of these Pokemon forms. All four forms of Squawkabilly share the same typing, being dual type normal and flying Pokemon. This makes them all weak to rock, electric, and ice type moves, resistant to bug and grass type attacks, and completely immune to both ground and ghost type moves. Now let's have a look at the stats and abilities of these supposedly different forms. Now, Kelsaprees, all four forms of Squawkabilly share the same base stats, boasting decent speed and attack, less than average bulk and garbage special attack. Now, if we want to be positive about things, they are technically ever so slightly bulkier and faster than Chatter. But in a region where both Staraptor and Braviary live, there really is no point using a Squawkabilly. All forms of Squawkabilly share the same primary and secondary abilities, with the primary being Intimidate, which lowers the attack stat of all opponents on the field by one stage each time Squawkabilly switches onto the field. This, as I always point out, is a fantastic fantastic ability for getting an early advantage over opponents and sees wide usage in VGC. As I said before though, Staraptor has the same typing and much better stats and also gets Intimidate. Make of that what you will. The secondary ability of all four forms is Hustle, which increases Squawkabilly's attack by 50%, but lowers the accuracy of its physical attacks by 20%. This can be handy for getting extra firepower out of Squawkabilly, but realistically this leaves your most reliable move as Aerial Ace, since this is the the only attack Squawkabilly has that can't have its accuracy lowered. And now finally, we have a difference between the Squawkabilly forms that aren't just their colours, and it's their hidden abilities. Green and blue Squawkabilly get the hidden ability Guts, which increases their attack by 50% when they have a status condition. Basically, this gives the same advantages that Hustle does, but with the added bonus that being burned won't hinder Squawkabilly's attack power. Plus, it can use same type attack bonus Facade to deal even more damage. However, being burned 
concerned, all being poisoned will most likely just guarantee that your Squawkabilly leaves the field even quicker than it already would have. As for Yellow and White Squawkabilly, their hidden ability is Sheer Force, which increases the power of moves with secondary effects by 30%, but prevents those secondary effects from activating. Now, I've had a look through the moves that Squawkabilly can learn, and honestly, there aren't really enough moves with secondary effects to even justify using this ability in the first place. Especially when, as I've previously mentioned, Braviary has the same type of Squawk ability and better stats, and wouldn't you know it, also gets sheer force. Now it's time for me to decide which of these four forms of Squawk ability I prefer, and it's not really much of a competition because I don't really want to use the Pokemon that much anyway, so I'll go with the blue one because blue is my favourite colour and I guess it gets the better hidden ability sort of. But really, there isn't much of a contest here because it's just, do you prefer Guts or do you prefer Sheer Force on a Pokemon that has no business using Sheer Force? Just pick your favourite colour basically, isn't it? But of course, it's not just up to me to decide which is my favourite, it's up to you guys to decide which is your favourite. But before we do that, we want to see these Pokemon in action on the battlefield, doing moves that they should never ever be able to learn. It's time for the Metronome Battle, right after this message from our lovely sponsor. Oh my lord, can you believe it? As always, we're sponsored by G Fuel! G Fuel is a wonderful energy formula with barely any calories, zero sugar, and a whole heap of wonderful flavors like the lovely Tekken inspired Rage Drive that I'm drinking today. It's a straight up cantaloupe flavor, and oh my god, this is really, really tasty. It's so refreshing. I'm already in love with this flavor. And the best part is, you can use code ACE to save 20% off your G Fuel order, and it helps support us. Thank you very much. Oh, that is absolutely wonderful. Go get yourself some Rage Drive G Fuel or any of the wonderful flavors over at gfuel.com. Just remember to use code ACE at checkout to save 20% off your order, 30% off most energy tubs at the moment, and 30% off most starter packs at the moment. So great times all round. Remember though, G Fuel is for over 18s only because it contains caffeine and children don't need to be anywhere near caffeine. They're annoying enough as it is. And because it contains caffeine, drink it responsibly. Don't be a dickhead, dickhead. Now one last thing before we get into the metronome battle, let me just remind you guys, these Pokemon all have max IVs in all stats, zero EVs in all stats, they're holding Leper Berries just in case they run out of um, metronome, but I don't think that's going to happen today, so I'm not too worried. They've all got their hidden abilities, because that's literally the only difference in these Pokemon, so that's all they really have going. In fact, they have the same typing and the same base stats, so literally the only thing that gives them any advantage or disadvantage is their hidden abilities. Everything else is all up to the metronome. Let's go. So here we are, it's Squawkabilly versus Squawkabilly versus Squawkabilly versus Squawkabilly. What an incredible mashup this is gonna be. We start off with Blue Plumage using Crab Hammer for a big old chunk of damage. Critical hit on the yellow Squawkabilly there. Now over to Green for its first turn. Goes for Roost at full HP. What a silly sausage. Green do be. Now it's over to the rarest. It is White Plumage Squawkabilly who goes for low sweep for some neutral damage on green there. Now that roost would really come in handy, wouldn't it? Here's Yellow with its first move of this battle with Eerie Spell. Shades of Galarian Slow King there. Decent chunk of damage there to the green Squawkabilly. And now we get Seed Bomb from the white for not very effective damage onto the blue there. And now over to green to see if it can actually use something useful in this battle. Goes for Meteor Beam. It's going to raise its special attack by one stage this turn and then go for a big rock type move on the next turn. That's going to be a very, very dangerous turn. Here comes Yellow Squawkabilly who's going to go for Stone Axe for super effective damage on green. No Meteor Beam next turn. Green is out of there, mate. Good lord. That was a great play there by Yellow Squawkabilly. Probably the target of that Meteor Beam, let's be honest. Here's Terra Blast from Blue Squawkabilly onto the Yellow, but Yellow hangs on at one hit point over to Blue to start the next turn, apparently. So Blue is going to go for Ice Spinner, which is super effective on the Yellow Squawkabilly there, and down goes Yellow just like that. I assume White's going to get to move this turn, probably, you know, since it is a turn-based battle system. Here is White Squawkabilly going for Payback, which is going to be slightly powered up because of the uh, the old uh, moving after your opponent. And now Blue Squawkabilly goes for Payday, looking to get paid, Bay Bay, and the White just 
eats up that damage, eats it right up. Over to White Squawkabilly now, who's going to fire back with Psychic, although its special attack, of course, is not too great. Puts Blue in the danger zone, though, and White is going to start off this next turn, and it's going to go for Judgment, and you've got to expect... Down goes Blue, the rarest Squawkabilly, the white plumage Squawkabilly, is the winner of this battle. That was short, sweet, and intense. Just like your dad's sex life. So you've heard what I've got to say, you've seen these Pokemon on the battlefield, now it's time for you to make your decision. Which of the four forms of Squawkabilly is your favourite? Is it blue plumage, green plumage, yellow plumage, or white plumage? Let me know down in the comments and explain to everybody why your pick is the absolute best. Good luck justifying this one. And if you're a channel member, don't forget to go and vote on the community tab. There'll be a poll up basically deciding what will be the next form fight, and you can vote on it if you're a member. And on the topic of members, just before the video ends, let's say a lovely thank you to our wonderful Ace Trainer Ultra XL members who are Bro Metapod, Purple Dragonair, Sin City Yeti, Mumbai Cobra, Gear Overlord, Toy Bonnie, TJ the Nerd, Night Angel, Lucas Gates, Kingly Gamer YT, and Viridian Falk. Thank you all so much for your massive support on this channel. So that'll do it for another episode of Form Fight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Share the video with a friend. Become a member to support the channel and vote on what you want the next Form Fight to be over on the community tab. And of course, use code ACE to save money on G Fuel. And hopefully I'll see you all at one of my lovely live streams. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.